I remember being 12 years old at a tent meeting for the first time and watching the evangelist up on stage lay hands on this man who was doubled over in back pain. He spoke in a strange language. The man falls to the ground, stands up, was upright, starts running down the aisle, and was healed. I was amazed, so amazed, in fact, that I wanted to go up for my own healing. So I went up there. He laid his hands on me. He spoke over me in tongues. Nothing happened. I was devastated. I ran out of that tent crying because I thought there was something wrong with me, that I wasn't good enough for God to heal me. And I lived under that lie for so, so long. So why is it that we see some people are healed and some people are aren't? Why do we know that intercessory prayer a lot of times can be more powerful than us praying for our own healing? These seem like mysterious questions, but here's the thing. There's actually a very simple explanation for that, and that answer lies in science. As a neurosurgeon and a neuroscientist and a follower of Jesus for my whole life, it always seemed natural to me that faith and science would go together. But I didn't find many people that agreed with that. Once I actually left practice as a neurosurgeon that the Lord called me out of, I started my own business. And here's what I did. I took the research I had done as a neurosurgeon, as a neuroscientist on this area of the brain that allows us to connect between the spiritual world and the physical world. I took that knowledge and I started to apply it to scriptures. I started to apply it to faith. And as I did that, I began to see miracles unfold in my life and in the lives of others that I shared this information with. Everybody agrees, I think, that in the spiritual realm, we all exist in a healed and whole state. That's not a question. There's no sickness or disease or death in heaven, right? But we believe, a lot of us, that that life is for after this life, right? That's when we go to heaven. But that's not the message that Jesus preached. He preached that the kingdom of God is now, that the kingdom of God is within you. And what the Lord has shown me is that there are keys in science that unlock the truths in those scriptures that allow us to see the manifestation of the kingdom of God on the earth right now, today. The Lord showed me a principle that connects the spiritual world and the physical world. And as we learn to apply this principle, which is based in scripture and it's based in science, that is where we see healing miracles occur. So I wrote this book called The Science of God's Healing Power, Revealing Truth in the Kingdom of God. It's all about the amazing power of light in both a spiritual and a physical perspective. It opens up a concept for you to understand God in an incredibly new way, in a powerful way, to connect with him directly so that, guess what, you don't even need an intercessor to pray for your healing you can access God's healing power yourself. And now I am so blessed to run a healing community. It's called Healing in the Kingdom, where people come in, they learn about the kingdom of God. They learn about everything that God has given them access to right now today. And we are seeing miracles upon miracles upon miracles. I love hearing about the physical healing miracles. I love hearing about the emotional healing miracles, but I'll tell you, my favorite testimonies are those where someone has said that after coming into this community, they have learned how to connect to God's love in a way that they have never known before. You know, it's truly that connection with God with his love and with his light, that is the source of not only his healing power, but is the source of connecting to the glory realm, that realm where miracles exist.